Hey there everyone, it's been a hot minute since I last posted a video, but today I'm going to start working on the boat and I started working on fiberglass a little just to kind of test out what's going on and see if I'm actually any good at it. But I'm here at the boat now, the garage, and here we are. So I've been busy with classes, haven't had too much time to work on it. Last week, I started my first fiberglass patches. I did a patch back here on the boat, which this is what it originally looked like on the other side, a bunch of holes. So I just completely cut that out. I have to still sand this and do some more coats, but it turned out decent. I mean, it's nice and sturdy. I also did a fiberglass patch up here. There was a hole going into the boat right here. But yeah, I'm gonna continue doing some fiberglass and I'll just kind of record what I'm doing. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna go today, but we'll get started now. First start with marking out my hole and penciling out what's going to get cut out here. Just going to use a straight edge, make a simple square. Now one mistake I made when I was doing this other hole was I cut too close to the edge here so I didn't have a lot of room to like build up my fiberglass. So when I make this new line I'm going to extend it back a little. And even though some of these holes will still be showing, it won't matter because I'm going to sand it, have like an angle on it, and then build up on top of it. Now I'll take my saw and start cutting this out. I've got most of the hole cut out. I'm gonna use this tool now to finish off the corners. All right, let's see what nasty stuff is in here. It's a bunch of these old bolts. I'll take this out. It's all rusted. And then, what I did on that side was I kind of dug this foam down about an inch and took a piece of Lawan, which is what I have right here. And I put a few blocks on the inside to have the Lawan rest on something. And then I like made the base right underneath the fiberglass. I might try to raise it up a little bit just so I don't have to build up as much as I'm gonna have to do on that side. And I'll go ahead and start doing that and bring it back in a second. I've got the foam dug down about an inch. The next step is to take my grinder with my sanding pad, and I want to sand back some of the old fiberglass so that there's a nice taper for when I build up the new fiberglass. It'll kind of layer up equally and transition into this nicely. While I'm doing that, I've got my vacuum to try to control the dust, and I want to wear my mask to keep it out of my lungs. All right, so that's a good start to the sanding. I forgot to mention that I want to have this part of the fiberglass really thin, and then it'll, like it'll kind of build out. I kind of went a little too much right here, but that's fine. I mean, I'm still gonna have fiberglass covering up everything. But yeah, I'm gonna get a piece of Luan now, cut out my square shape, get a couple filler blocks to put on the bottom, and start doing that. 
So I now have my piece of wood in place with the filler blocks underneath giving it support, pushing down, it's not moving at all. And I'm gonna end up fiberglassing this before I leave. But I can imagine that I'll have some extra polyester resin left over. So in case I do, I'm gonna sand some of these holes back, kind of like I did over here. And with any of the extra resin, I'll be able to fill in some holes so I'm not wasting any material. Alright guys, what you're about to see is probably my biggest mistake of this entire boat restoration. Instead of using a polyester structural repair putty to patch these little holes, I decided to sand and fiberglass patch it because at the time I thought that was the only answer. I was totally wrong though, and now you're going to watch me waste a bunch of time. <laughs> The next step in this process is to take my vacuum, get all the dust up, wipe everything down with acetone and prep it for the fiberglass. Alright, my surfaces are all prepped. And I'm gonna get my fiberglass sheeting. I have it on the front of the boat. And I'll start cutting out pieces. I'm gonna start with my first piece. It's gonna be as big as the opening of this hole. Then I'll just keep like making the pieces maybe a quarter of an inch bigger. And I'll have probably like five or six pieces for this spot. And then for these holes, I'll probably do like three or four. I have different size fiberglass too. So this matting right here, this is built or this is made for like structural repairs. So this is what I'm going to be using for that big hole back there. And then this stranded fiberglass is more for like body work. And I'll also use this on the big hole back there, but this will be part of the top layer. And then I'll use this for the holes and just make pieces like a little bigger than a quarter. Just fill in the hole. So yeah, I'll do that now. Okay, so I got my five pieces. I'm gonna cut out the little strands for the holes and then I will start mixing up my resin. So for tonight, I'm gonna mix up two ounces of my polyester resin. And this is the stuff I'm using. It's from Total Boat. It's for laminating resin, build coat resin for laminating repairs. Uh, it has no wax. And what that means is that it's kind of confusing, but basically when I apply this polyester resin, it's not going to cure until I put a wax coat on top of it. And my wax coat is this PVA polyvinyl alcohol. 
So I got to apply this and then spray that alcohol on top so that it'll, I guess what happens is the oxygen hits the polyester resin and that's what keeps it from curing. So the wax layer will actually block that off from any oxygen and allow it to cure. But anyway, this is what I have. And this is the hardener. I want to add seven to eight drops per ounce. And it said in colder temps, you might want to add one more drop. So I'll probably do eight to nine for each ounce. All right. That's about as close as I'm going to get it. I'll grab my hardener now. This stuff is actually called methyl ethyl ketone peroxide. And All right, so that was like 18 drops. I'm gonna mix this stuff up for a good two minutes and then I'll be able to start applying it. All right, that's all mixed up. Now I can start applying these sheets of fiberglass. The most important thing I learned when doing fiberglass so you want to make sure that you really saturate the wood and everything with a good coat of the resin. You also want to make sure that there's no air bubbles in between the fiberglass layers. So I'm going to first coat the surface with some resin just so that the fiberglass will stick to it easier. Then I have wax paper to the right over here. And I'm gonna coat the fiberglass before I put it on. I don't have to do this for every piece because once I have one coat of fiberglass, it'll kind of seep through the fiberglass to the next piece. I just wanna really get this piece saturated. Come back over here. Lay my first piece on. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and kind of tap the fiberglass. This will just help get any of the air bubbles that are in the middle and push them to the edge. And yeah, it's kind of the same process from here out. For the next piece, I'll just lay it right on top. You can kind of see how it's soaking through. And I'll take a little bit more, apply it to the top. And my goal is just to make sure that you can't see any of this clear stuff. And keeping in mind that the air bubbles have to get out just so that the fiberglass doesn't peel back. Before I put my last two sheets of fiberglass, I'm going to take this tool I have, and this also helps get the air bubbles out. You just roll the fiberglass.
Okay, so that's a good start for this patch. I'm gonna take this tool one more time and roll it out. And now I'll just move on to the holes and fill it in with the rest of the resin that I have. I'll do the same thing for the rest of these holes. And these are the pieces that I have cut out so far. So all of my holes are now filled in with fiberglass. And my last step is to take the PVA alcohol, which I have in the spray bottle here. And the spray part doesn't really work on this, so it just squirts a stream, but I just need to get all of this stuff covered. I'll go back, put some gloves on and kind of spread it around. But I need to invest in a new spray bottle because I think I'm wasting too much of this stuff when I do it like this. But yeah, I'm going to continue doing this, get everything covered, and then I'll call it a night, come back a different day and see if it's all cured properly. I let the fiberglass dry overnight and I came back just to check things out and it's looking really good. All of this cured nicely. Up here, it's still a little sticky right here, but I'm going to continue today starting with some of these holes and I might work a little bit on these. Got a bunch of holes. I have no clue why these are all here, but definitely want to get these filled in before I start painting everything. I also want to note that the way I'm patching these isn't necessarily the proper way to patch fiberglass. What you want to do is you want to have glass on the back and the front side of the hole. And there is room to reach up, but there's no way I'm going to get it sander back here. So I'm just going to do what I did up here and make the little like indentation with the sander and just fill it from one side. I knew this was gonna suck, but I didn't think it would be this bad. I mean, I am just covered head to toe with fiberglass dust. My boat looks like a bunch of Swiss cheese holes. And I have a little bit more to do right here. So I'm gonna finish this up as fast as I can, go ahead and get a shower because I am itching all over. So it's been a couple of weeks since I last did the sanding. I ended up going down to Florida for spring break. But today my plan is to continue sanding these fiberglass patches that I first did. I want to also patch the holes that I did, like all of these. But I want to make sure that this first coat is sanded so I can apply a second coat. You have to sand in between coats. And I'll show you what I'm going to do for dust collection. Hopefully keep the dust off of me. So for starters, I got this like full body suit. So I'll be wearing that along with my mask. I got some new filters. And also, I have this like bucket of water here, and I've used this trick in the past for drywall standing. So I have my vacuum hooked up to this bucket lid, 
And what I plan on doing is taking this and I'm gonna take this other hose, which is attached to my sander. And I'll put this hose through the bottom like that. So the air will be sucking from this one and the dust will come out of here. And the idea is that it will get trapped in the water when all that dust is flying around the inside. Just put it on top like that. So we'll see how that works. I might have to add a little bit more water. I just don't want to get this soaking wet inside. This first sander isn't really doing the trick, so I'm gonna switch it out with this one, see if it helps. These spots are all sanded down and I can start going around and patching more holes. So off camera, I cut out a bunch of these little patches. I'm gonna be starting with the smaller ones and I'll build my way up to the bigger patches. And then for my top layer, I didn't do it on the last holes that I patched, but I'm gonna use this thinner strand fiberglass. This will allow for like a smoother top layer, make the sanding easier. And it won't have to get filled in as much. If you can see on these, it's kind of like bubbly in the middle. I don't have to use a lot more body filler on these. But I'll go ahead and fill in these holes. I also cut out some more structural fiberglass for those top two patches. Just because like people might be standing up there, I want to have a little extra support. So I'll get that glassed in and then start working on this section. Real quickly, I wanted to show you guys the new spray gun I got from Harbor Freight. It was like $15, and instead of using that old squirt gun that I had to spray the polyvinyl alcohol, I've been putting it in here, loading it through the top, and sending 40 PSI through the hose, and it just makes applying it a lot easier. You don't need a lot of it, and I was wasting a whole bunch when I was using that spray bottle, but now this gives a nice thin coat over the patches. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if it was me personally, I would not want to see every single hole get patched. So I'm going to go ahead, fast forward a few days, maybe even a week. It's going to be a lot of work still. 
and I'll come back when this is all finished up and go to the next step. Now, when I first left off on this about a year ago, I said I wasn't gonna bore you guys with all the patching and that is definitely true. It would have been a lot of videos with a lot of nonsense. So everything's completed. The back of the transom here had a bunch of holes in the bottom from the previous owner. So all of that got fiberglass patched and is now waterproof. The motor also got a little bit more work. So she's running decently, still needs a bit of a tuning, but you know, it gets you on the water and we'll see if it goes. And as far as up here goes, I haven't done anything else much. The wiring was all finished, but today the main goal is to get all of this sanded and then I'll finally be able to post this part of the video and start moving to the second phase of body work. All right, now that you guys are all caught up on what's been going on in the past few months, I am now ready to start sanding. Got my sand pad paper, all kinds of different grits, some sanders that I'm gonna hook up to the airline just to give it a little bit more power. And I think I'm gonna start in the back of the boat, just work my way up front, but let's get to it. All suited up, I'm trying to keep as much fiberglass dust off of me as possible because this stuff is itchy. So this is what I've done in like the past two hours now. And I kind of messed up over here. You can obviously see from that grinder pad with the abrasive grit was not the move. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so I wasn't really sure what to do. And I wanted to take off a bunch of that dirty stuff. Like I still have to do in here, but what I'm gonna do instead, and it was what I did over here, using that sander just made it so much better. There are no like divots. Now I will say this was really nice for getting the fiberglass sanded down at least until I hit the gel coat. That just made it go a lot faster. But over here I just used it way too much. To fix this, I'm gonna have to take the sander with the 60 grit and just go over this again, but that's definitely not happening today. For this side, I'm gonna take my grinder with the sanding pad and hit the big spots and just go enough to get into the gel coat. Then I'll take my sander and smooth it all out.
So my phone died, but a little update. I uh, got most of the patch work done all over here. And now I'm gonna start working on the front. That's all I can do for tonight. I've got the entire interior sanded, which was my main goal. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come back and just do a little bit more along the outside edge, but we're very close to phase two. Back the next day. It is absolutely beautiful out right now. It's really hard to believe it's only March 4th and 70 degrees out, but I'm gonna take full advantage of the weather and finish just sanding some of the patches on the outside here, some of these holes, and then we're gonna give her a bath. So that's what I'm going to start with and hopefully I get it all done before it gets dark. I complete sanding onto the bath. And that's a wrap. We are finally done with all the sanding for the fiberglass. This thing has been haunting me for the past six months. I knew I was going to have to do it. I knew it was going to be uncomfortable. Um, covered with fiberglass from today's sanding. Yesterday I had that protective coat, which helped a little bit, but um, yeah, it sucked. Now that it's over, I'm gonna actually go out on the water with my roommates, see if it floats, see if it works. Is it worth putting more money into? If that's the case, then we're gonna start the second phase of body work, which will include some polyester structural resin. That'll be able to fill in some of the deeper gaps in the fiberglass that I didn't quite get in the first coat. And then for everything that's already pretty good, I'll put some Bondo on it. Um, gonna have to sand the boat a second time and then a third time to get the finish that I'm looking for. But it's gonna be worth it in the end and I wanna do it the right way. I'm sure I probably didn't do everything correctly and most efficiently as I probably could have, but I'm learning and you know, 
I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm happy with it so far. So keep watching. I'm going to be posting more consistently, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.